everyone welcome back to my channel it is the end of the month and that means i will do my october favorites for you guys because this is the end of october <laughs> and yeah i have a couple of new products and new items that i want to share with you guys that i've been really loving for the whole month of october so let's get on to it <music> I'm gonna start with the eyes first and my first favorite is actually the MAC paint pot in Indian wood. I've just been enjoying putting this all over my lids before I move along to put my eyeshadow and I think I've mentioned before that I really enjoy all the paint pots that I own. I think I own about four, four of them and I really like how it gives such a good base for your eyeshadows and it helps your eyeshadows last the whole day. And on top of that, um, I have been loving this combination of eyeshadow. All the time, I am using a bronzy eyeshadow for my everyday eyeshadow look for like work or whatever. But recently, I just decided to whip out my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cosmopolitan, which is a really nice rose gold um, orange kind of shade and I've gotten so many compliments when I use this eyeshadow combination on my eyes and I really feel that it helps my face it kind of brightens up my face and my eye area a little bit and it's a way to add a little bit of like a pop of color to my eyeshadow look without being so like dramatic and together with it I've been um, placing the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Frappe in my crease I just feel that these two um, eyeshadows go really well together so I have been really enjoying this combination like this eyeshadow combination a lot and it's the eyeshadow combination that I wear almost every day wait until um, I got this Christian Dior um, eyeshadow palette from a press event that I attended so this is the um, five eyeshadow palette um, five eyeshadow I uh, five eyeshadows it's not a quad but there's five colors inside and this is number 686 Tangerine Dream this is Tangerine Dream um, like eyeshadow palette by Dior and it just looks like that so as you can see these two colors are almost kind of similar to Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek and I just one day decided to try this shade out which is the lighter orange it has a little bit of a sheen to it when you put it on the eyelid and what I like to do is I like to place this all over my lid again I will use uh, Makeup Geek's Frappe to define my crease area and oh my god you guys I love this combination as well I don't know what is it with me but I've been really into these like um, peachy orangey kind of tones of eyeshadow because I feel that it kind of makes my skin and my eye area look fresher and speaking of peachy things I'm really into peach this month I don't know why uh, my favorite blush of the month is actually Milani's Luminoso and uh, this is just a shade or a blush shade that you can never go wrong with if you are interested in getting a blush from Milani or um, yeah try Luminoso because from the reviews that I've heard and everything it seems that it's, it, it like matches a lot of skin tones so yeah, I really like this. It's very pigmented, so be very careful when you place it on your cheeks. But I'm very impressed and I really like how this gives such a nice glow to my cheeks. And yes, still keeping on to the peach theme is a lip product. And this is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Frida. And um, I didn't purchase this myself actually. Um, I got this from my meetup from two viewers, um, Honey and also Hidaya. So thank you Honey and Hidaya for this. I do not have this shade at all and I really like it. In the tube, it looks very mauve and stuff but when it's on my lips, it has a very peachy like look to it. It's like a very nude peachy kind of um, shade and it just looks like that and honestly this and paired together with the eyeshadow combinations that I really like or have been liking for the whole month of October it is like a match made in heaven. I love how this like this lip and the eyeshadow combination of Cosmopolitan or the Christian Dior um, eyeshadow look together is just like amazing. I love it. I love it a lot. Now, my last lip product or the second lip product actually is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lips in the shade Bumble. This also has a bit of an orangey tone in my opinion. It's like a very rust kind of shade but not so orangey lah but 
um, yeah, you get what I mean. I've already done a lip swatch video and a review on the ultra matte lips that I got. I will put the little eye at the corner, I think it's the right corner, right hand side of this video where you can actually see all the related videos that I will be talking about in this video. There's a lot of videos in a sentence but you get what I mean. This is this has to be one of my favourite shades out of the lot that I got. This is one of the more wearable ones and I really like it. It's not patchy, it's not streaky, it applies beautifully, it lasts a really long time on my lips and it's kind of like a statement lip but not like your typical burgundy or red or whatever it just gives i don't know how to explain it it's a wearable shade but at the same time it's bold so i like that it's a bit or the best of both worlds kind of and i forgot to mention two more eye items the first one is the stila um, smudge stick eyeliner in damsel i've been enjoying using this to put or dot um, on my, my lower lash line because it's so pigmented I don't dare to draw it like straight up like so because if not it's going to be really dark and I'm going to have like a smoky eye look to work so I'm not into that for work I just like this to define my lower lash line so what I do is I will just stamp it on my lower lash line I will take a flat definer brush and I'll blend it out and to set it so that it doesn't go anywhere I actually use uh, Makeup Geek's Mocha which is a very nice chocolatey shade and it matches Damsel very well because Damsel is also a very dark dark chocolatey brown and my last makeup or beauty item is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I got this when Sephora was having their 15% off base um, items like foundation, contouring products and what not. I finally got my hands on this because I realized that in a lot of my tutorials I use the same bronzer or the same contour like kit which is the sleek contour kit so I thought that it was about time for me to get another product to use in tutorials. It's kind of foolproof, um, it has a very nice shade, it smells like chocolate and I won't want to say no to that. <laughs> Now moving on to my fashion favourite of the month. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I recently got myself a bag and um, I don't really splurge on such items even though I want to but I always tell myself no. Uh, but for this time around, I just decided to go ahead with it. And it is my Misha Jet Set Travel Tote Bag. And I am obsessed with this bag you guys like I was so excited to get it and when I got it I just couldn't like leave it alone. This is how it looks like. It's really big. I always like to over carry things <laughs> and um, yeah I just really enjoy carrying big bags because I know that I will never forget something. Well I do but you know it's um, black and white um, The with the signature Misha um, print with a with red handles and inside there's actually uh, an extra pouch so it has the string attached to the bag and I can detach this if I want to and I just have been wearing this bag as much as I can like I use it to work every day and I just really like the size I like how comfortable it is to wear but I just like the practicality of this bag especially for someone like me who carries like a billion and one things in the bag the one problem I have with like big bags for example like the Longchamp Le Pliage the large size one is that the handles are really thin and for me sometimes I like to carry my laptop in my bag and it really hurts my shoulders but for this the handles of the bag is actually flat and so when I put it over my shoulder and if I'm carrying something really heavy it doesn't kind of like cut through my shoulders so that's what I like about it. So happy! And I have to thank my friend Liana for um, helping me get this because um, <clears throat> I don't know whether I can tell but you know she get, she got a good price because she is a staff over at where we got this. So thanks Liana! Yay! <laughs> To wrap up my October favourites, I'm going to share with you guys this particular artist that I'm obsessed with right now and I only recently got to know about his existence in the music world because I'm slow uh, <laughs> um, but I actually kind of found him through um, Kyle Hanagami who is a choreographer, he's super awesome by the way and he choreographed a piece to James Bay's song called um, 
move together. I have been listening to James' bass um, album and oh my god! <gasps> I Number one, I'm not a fan of men with long hair. I'm so sorry, it's just personal preference. Um, but he looks so sexy number one and his voice is those kind of like raspy the song that i'm obsessed with is actually called move together and oh the feels of that song i will link the song or the video the youtube video in the description box below you all have to hear it because the feel is just there's gonna be like one the song in my wedding playlist, one of the many songs in my wedding playlist and it's amazing and then I went ahead and listened to his whole album and <sighs> it goes to show that you don't need a lot of like effects or whatever you just need a voice, a lot of emotion and like a guitar and maybe like a head and long hair I don't know James Bay is amazing and I just love his songs a lot and it's just amazing. I just, I just can't like deal with it. So with that, we've come to the end of my October favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Or if you want to see more videos from me. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Hi guys, so I know I just wrapped up my October favourites but I have a sneaky giveaway for you guys. Kyra and myself are giving away a pair of tickets to Sketches Sundown Festival that will be happening on 21st of November. Each ticket is actually worth $88 and there's actually a couple of bands and like performances that's going to be happening on that day so I will leave all the links to the Sketches Sundown Festival in the description box below. For a chance to win the pair of tickets, all you got to do is just comment in the comment section below on this video letting me know what videos you would like to see on my channel and not only that, to double your chances of winning, head over to Karun's uh, or my fiance's blog which I will also link down below and I'll put around the area. Follow the instructions on his blog and we will basically pick a random winner from um, his challenge and my comment section and the one lucky winner will get to walk away with a pair of tickets to this festival. So yeah! And we will pick a random winner on the 6th of November and on that date, Karun will actually Facebook message the winner to let them know that you have won. We will also be mailing the tickets to you guys via registered mail so it doesn't get lost. Again, everything will be in the description box down below and good luck and I hope you guys like this sneaky little giveaway that we are having. Thank you so much for watching and all the best and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! I got pins and needles, I got pins and needles.